Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. Get ready for a fun ride because today's video is much different than anything else that I've done on my channel. Let me start this video by wishing our B-Town power couple Deepika Parkon and Ranveer Singh a very happy married life. They're officially husband and wife today. As we all know, they had a very private ceremony and they didn't want any pictures to be published. So we all kept guessing and waiting and trying to see how Deepika looked, how Ranveer looked, and we couldn't even catch a glimpse of it. Actually, we did a little bit and I will explain. Um, so here's what I decided to do. While we're waiting for them to publish their very first pictures, I thought in my mind, let me guess what Deepika's choices might have been and how she would have looked on a wedding day. And I'm going to put a look together. I'm going to be doing the entire look, which is hair and makeup. And then once she publishes the pictures, we can compare mine to hers and see how close I got. I think it's a lot of fun, something very different than what I've done in the past. I hope you guys enjoy it. And without further ado, let's get this started. I've seen Deepika wear brown contact lenses so many times and I feel like for a wedding she's going to be in brown contacts. So I'm going to wear them too. Her eyebrows are always filled in so I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dipro pomade in dark brown to fill in my eyebrows using my angled brush. Using the Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline, I'm going to clean up the borders of my eyebrows and while I'm cleaning that up, I'm going to round off the inner edges because she has rounder eyebrows than me. And then I'm going to use the concealer on my lids as a primer. To set the concealer, I'm using the NYC Loose Powder just so it doesn't settle in those fine lines and crease. I'm taking this highlighter called Sin from the Urban Decay Sin Afterglow Palette to highlight my brow bones. Now in my mind, I feel like she will go with brown smoky eyes with a little bit of shimmer on her lids because I've seen her with so many different smoky eyes, especially brown, and I feel like that is so prominent in her looks and she's definitely going to go for that look. I'm going to first take Motivation, which is a soft brown. This is the Hip Dot Boss Palette. With my Sigma E40 Blending Brush, I'm going to use this in the outer corner and the crease. I'm going to keep on blending till the color blends really well and melts into my skin color. At this point, I felt like maybe she'll stop at this and just go with some eyeliner. But then I felt like, no, I think she will have some shimmer on her lids. So I'm going to apply Courage, which is an anti-gold color all over my lid using my finger. I'm going to wipe out all the fallout and then I'm going to jump into my base makeup and I can almost guarantee you that she's going to have a flawless base and something that's very glowy. First, I'm going to feed my skin with a very thick moisturizer. This is the Sani Face Contour Cream. I'm going to apply it on my face and neck basically in areas where I'll be applying the foundation. This has a little bit of stickiness to it so it can cling on to the foundation so it's perfect as a primer as well. And to moisturize my lips, I'm using a lip balm. For that extra glowy skin, I'm going to be using the O2O Rose Gold Exiler. Basically, this is a face oil infused with 24 karat gold. So I'm going to be again massaging this all over my face. For foundation, I'm going with the Smashbox Liquid Halo in number 5. And the reason I'm choosing this foundation today is because it gives you that silky finish. I'm choosing all products that will either give me a silky finish or something that looks very glowy. I feel like she will definitely have a good amount of highlight and a light contour. So to highlight the high planes of my face, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Honey. This shade Honey has a peach undertone, so it's perfect for especially covering dark circles. I'm going to be blending everything out with a damp beauty sponge. And because I'm going for that light contour, I'm going to opt for cream contour. I'm using the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in Call Me Maple. And again, I'm going to be blending it out with a damp beauty sponge. 
As always, for your convenience, I've listed all the products that I've used today in the description box right below this video. Also listed are all the shades under each product that I've used. I'm going to take more of the NYC loose powder to set in areas where I used concealer just so the concealer doesn't crease and I'm using the Sigma highlighter brush to set it and then I'm going to take my powder puff and I'm going to distribute this powder all over my face to set my face so I'm not going to take any extra powder I'm going to just use what is on my face and then I'm going to take a little bit of extra powder and apply it underneath my eyes before I jump back to my eye makeup so just in case there's any fall out from the eyeshadows it'll fall on the powder and not my base makeup and it's easier to dust it off later i'm going to first take motivation with a small shader brush and i'm going to smoke this out in my entire lower lash line I'm not 100% sure if she's going to use anything in her waterline uh, because sometimes she does and sometimes she doesn't. Um, but I think I'm going to use it. So I'm going to use the Jordana Easy Liner in black. I can guarantee you she will go with a wing in her top lash line. So I'm going to line my top lash line as well as pull out a wing using my NYX Matte Black Liner. I'm going to prep my lashes for falsies. I'm going to curl it and apply a coat of mascara. This is the Mega Length Mascara from Wet n Wild. For lashes, I feel like she will go for something that looks very natural, very soft and wispy. So I'm going to be using the Harjot Lashes in Queen. This is very wispy and you can see through it so you can see the eye makeup. So this is perfect. And then I'm finishing up my eye makeup with a coat of mascara in my lower lashes. From the Sin After Glow palette, I'm going to use PSA to add some warmth to my face. So this is going to be my bronzer. And then I'm going to use a very light blush called Score on the high points of my cheekbones. Now again, because we want that glow, I'm going to use more of the highlighter Sin on the high points of my face. I'm going to apply it with a brush and then slowly dab it in with my finger. As I've explained before, the warmth in your finger almost melts the highlighter and the glow looks like it's coming from within. And now comes the most confusing part. I wasn't sure if she was going with a nude lip or a red lip. So I spent almost 15 minutes trying to decide if she's going to go with a nude lip or a red lip. I personally like a red lip for wedding. I think it looks fabulous, especially in pictures. But I don't know, for some reason, I felt like she will go with a nude lip. So I decided to go with the Milani liquid lipstick in Adorable. One thing she will definitely use is a setting spray. I'm using the Wet n Wild setting spray to set and seal my makeup. Now let's jump to the hair part. I think this was a little bit easier to guess. I looked at some of the pictures that were released by the media outlets. From a distance, it almost looks like everybody had similar hairstyles where they had a bun in the back with some gachra. So I feel like she might do something similar with a center partition for the tika. I'm going to first center part my hair for the tika and I'm going to make two small sections in the front that I can fix later. And then with whatever is left in the back, I'm going to tie a ponytail. I'm going to insert this hair donut in my ponytail. I'm going to wrap my hair around it so it's not visible. And then I'm going to secure it with another elastic or a rubber band.
I'm going to take all the extra hair and insert it in my bun. And I'm also going to secure it with bobby pins. And then I'm going to take this paper kajra that I got from India and I'm going to attach it to my bun. With the two sections in front, I'm going to give it a quick twist and I'm going to secure it in the back with bobby pins. To comb back, hold and neaten up all the flyaways and baby hair, I'm going to use the Garnier Volume Hairspray. And now for all the goodies and finishing touches and accessories, I'm going to go with a very small red bindi. I feel like she will go with a very small bindi. And for some reason, I have this vague memory that I read somewhere that she's going to go with only silver jewelry and not gold. So I chose to wear silver jewelry as well. I think she'll wear big earrings, she'll wear a big choker and another necklace which is longer. I think she'll wear the tikka but I'm not really sure about the matapati but she's a bride so I'm hoping she does. Um, I decided to wear it. I feel the theme and the vibe and the dress code was white and ivory because even when they left at the airport both Deepika and Ranveer were in white and if you look at all the guests from a distance it almost looks like they're all in whites and ivories. So I decided to wear the sari which is ivory with some gold embroidery on it. I feel like Deepika might wear white or ivory with gold on it. And here's the final look, you guys. Let me know your thoughts. Would you agree with me or do you have your own opinion on what she might be wearing? Let me know everything in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed watching my video, don't forget to hit the like and share my video with all the Deepika Parkon fans out there. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe and hit the notification button. I also have links to all my social media accounts in the description box below where I interact more with all everybody in fact so make sure you're following me there as well as always i love you guys so much and i will see you soon with another video bye guys